aviation channel. Okay, so today we'll be learning about how to so like start up a Cessna 170 SP, also known as a Cessna Skyhawk. Okay, so without further ado, let's start up um, the aircraft and follow the checklist. So number one, you will turn on the master batteries. And uh, number two, you will turn on the avionics um, over here, which gives power to the nav systems and uh, the transponder system. Okay, so now number three, we will be turning on the transponder. As you can see here, clearly it is off. So we'll simply switch it on and uh, we'll turn it on and you can clearly now see it is on. Okay, with the transponder code 1200. Okay, number four, we would turn on the beacon lights. And the beacon lights, um, uh, well, the beacon light is located on the tail fin. And this, I believe, um, is to allow the ground crew and other pilots to see this aircraft more easily, especially at night. Okay, so um, number five, you will make sure that the fuel mixture is rich and in and number six um, you'll make sure that the propeller uh, is clear from any obstruction and uh, as you can see here it is clear definitely clear from any obstruction okay and um, and now uh, well let, let, let's uh, well number seven we'll turn on the fuel pumps okay I think there's only one fuel pump uh, in this Cessna, okay, in this small aircraft. Um, and now we're ready to start up the engines or uh, the engine of this uh, aircraft. Okay, so uh, as you can see here, the revs, it's on. Okay, if I can get in here more easily, okay, it's on zero. So the engine is definitely, definitely off. So um, now we have the fuel pumps on. Let's uh, do step number eight, which is to uh, put the magnetos into the stop position. And I believe, yes, yes, it started up. As you can see here, um, the, the revs have gone up and the propeller is now rotating. Definitely. Okay. So we'll let the revs climb up just a bit. Okay, we'll put in a bit of power. Okay. So we just want to raise the temperature a bit. Okay, I think this will be enough. I think the engine will, um, the engine temperature will rise automatically. As you can see here, the temperature of the engine area okay anyway um so number nine we will turn on i uh, believe the battery alternator which charges the battery uh while the engine is running okay so now we'll, turn, we'll switch off um the fuel pump okay now it's off and we will turn on the navigation lights and the navigation lights are two lights um, mounted uh, on each side of the wing. On the left is the red light and on uh, the right hand side is the green light. You guys can see here. Well, it looks blue here, but well, I mean, it should be green. So anyway, let's go back into the cockpit. Okay, cool. And... Um, I think that is uh, as far as you've got, um, no, I mean, we start up the engine of the plane, we start up the plane, thing like that. And um, I think I pretty much skip the sort of um, step where I wait for the engine to warm up. Yeah, who cares? Okay, so anyway, um, we'll put down uh, the parking brake uh, and... Um, well, let's start going, and uh, I'll just put on the flaps. I think this plane can take off without the flaps engaged, but we put the flaps on 10. Okay, so 
the V1, uh, as far as I know on this aircraft, is 55 knots. So um, as soon as this shows 55 knots, we'll, uh, uh, we'll reach sort of V1 and uh, we'll lift off and take off. Okay, so let's get the control yoke uh, to visible position. Control yoke is working. Cool. Okay, so let's take off. Okay. And this is my version of a Lamborghini. Top speed. Um, well, I mean, I think I can cruise uh, in clear skies at around 100 and 30 knots, about 100 and I believe 45 miles per hour. Oh gosh, I've okay. V1 rotate, didn't pay attention to my uh airspeed indicator. Okay, so thank you very much for listening. Um, and please comment and like this video if you liked, of course. And please subscribe to this YouTube channel and I hope to see you uh, next time in the aviation channel. Thank you very much for listening.